Hey guys, it's Russ here, PokeRuss here, and we're back with another episode of Pokemon Shadow Lock. If you missed last week, last time's episode, go check it out. Um, we worked our way through more of this hideout and such. Um, we didn't catch any new Shadow Pokemon, but it's still an interesting episode, so you gotta go check it out. We unlocked the hearts to, and learned some new moves, so that's pretty exciting. So, the next, we're gonna keep working our way through this um, base hideout thing. See if we can hit the end by the end of today's episode. Uh, but first, we're going to do a quick re team recap. Um, first off, we have Mischievous here. Mischievous is rocking the Shadow Tag. It's careful nature. Its heart is fairly way unlocked. We still have a little bit left to go. It, like I said, it was holding the item Shadow Tag. Um, it has Shadow Rush, Mean Look, and Confuse Ray as its attacks. We, next, we have Flaffy. Flaffy is a brave nature. Its heart is almost fully unlocked. Um, we just have to undo that final lock once we get to that one area in the game, but I won't spoil any of that for you people who haven't played this before. Um, who ha is rocking Shadow Rush, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, and Cotton Spore. So, Flaffy is going to be very useful to our team. Next, we have Umbreon. Umbreon has a synchronized ability and naughty nature. Umbreon has been with us since the very beginning, guys. We started off with Espeon and Umbreon in this game, as opposed to your normal starters. Um, and... Well, Espeon sadly met an early fate, so if you want to see what happened to Espeon, you're going to have to go back and watch some of the previous episodes. I'll link down in the description back to episode 1, so go check that out. Um, Umbreon knows Bite, Secret Power, Taunt, and Snatch. In level 29, it's leveled up a bit since we've got it. Um, it's a little under under leveled compared to our other Pokemon, but we'll, but we'll get it caught up. That's not no issues. Next on our list is Yanma. I am so excited to be playing with Yanma here today. Um... It has a speed boost ability, which is freaking awesome. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i excited to play with this Yanma, even though it's never going to go to a Yanmega in this playthrough because it doesn't exist yet. Because um, this is only a third gen game. It stores barely open to its heart. We haven't got to use it much, and it just knows the attack Shadow Rush. Next on our list is our Furret. We've used that teeny bit more recently. Um, we just uh, got it probably right before the Yanma. Um, and we haven't unlocked the door to its heart too, too much. It's, I, I don't know, I just haven't had a good spot to bring it in, and we'll see where it is. I believe it's in hyper mode, actually, right now. So, last but not least, oh yeah, it's only attack is Shadow Rush at the moment. Um, yeah, going by Zora, I think it's in hyper mode. So, our last Pokemon has been with us almost since the beginning. It's our second Shadow Pokemon we actually captured. It's Croconaut, it's holding a Mystic Water. Its heart is fully unlocked to us, except for the final lock. It's a rash nature with... The attack, Shadow Rush, Scary Face, Bite, and Surf. So, those are our Pokemon. Um, we might switch out a few Pokemon here and there as we play through, but we're going to try to reach the end of this cavern. So, we beat her in the last episode. We're going to walk around here. Uh, we haven't beat this guy. My Pokemon are solid troopers. Check them out. So, we have Hunter Tura here. Who has a Shviel and a Snowrunt. Snowrunt. I'm going to sh to the beginning of every... Snow Run and Spiel. So we have a Mischievous and Flaffy here. Um, we're going to... We're going to Shadow Rush this Snow Run, and we are going to Thundershock this Spiel. So we did a decent amount of damage to this Snow Run here. There's a nice U, and it's going to lower both of our speeds. Um, it's not going to affect Flaffy too much. Flaffy's pretty slow, but Mischievous has been pretty fast for us. So that might affect the move priority for them. But Flaffy being slow as a Pokemon goes anyway, because it's a sheep. Plus, um, it's a brave nature, so it's a my speed nature up attack. Um, it's not going to be moving first anyway. So here comes a Water Gun right into the Mischievous. Uh, Mischievous is going to take it out like a champ. We're gonna go. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna switch it to a Shadow Rush and a Shviel, and we're gonna do a Thunder Shock on this Snow Run. So there's a Shadow Rush knocking out the Shviel. Uh, not too too much to worry about. I do wish we had a Shadow Shviel in this run because that would be freaking awesome. I love Whale Walrin. It's one of my favorite Water Ice types. Um, I like it so much better than that. Bite did a lot. Um, I like it so much more than like Dugong and stuff like that. So it's one of my favorites. Like, I played, I played first gen, second gen, when they came out, stuff like that. Like, I had, like, I played them, I had my favorites. They were most, like, 
the fur was one of my favorites back in the day because like, I explained it, explained in a previous episode that um, it was a powerhouse of my team because I knew Ice Punch. Um, but I really didn't start having favorite Pokemon, I'll say, until third gen. I think third gen's really when I personally started noticing like the different aspects of Pokemon. There, what like I don't know. I just started having favorites from then on out. So. Okay, um, we should probably heal up Mistrippus here, because we don't need a Pokemon fainting on us. I think a potion should work, because it's not too, too... Ah, eh, that only goes... Let's try a Super Potion. Okay, so let's check out what's in this door, behind door number one. Uh, nothing in here. There's a Pokebox in here. What's in the Pokebox? We got ourselves a revive. Sadly, that item will be useless to us. Um, because since we're playing a Nuzlocke style, but I can sell it for money. So, we'll take on this person. My Pokemon can dance with elegance even in this dump. So we have Hunter Toti. He's rocking a horsey and an oddish. Gonna sh just sh Shadow Rush the Oddish, and we're gonna Thunder Shock the Horsey. See if we can knock it out one hit kind of thing. Here's the Shadow Rush on the um, Oddish. That's a decent amount, nothing crazy. And then Horsey's using Dragon Dance. That's frightening. You know what this person reminds me of? Um, if you guys have played uh, Pokemon uh, X and Y or seen a playthrough of Pokemon X and Y, there is a character named Tierno. Here knows one of your friends, rivals, they kind of mesh together in that game. Um, and he talks about dancing all the time, he loves to dance, all of his Pokemon know dancing moves like Petal Dance and uh, Dragon Dance, and that did a lot of damage. Um, we are going to Shadow Rush this Oddish because I... No, oh crap. Okay, yeah, I'm Shadow Rushing the Oddish, and then Flaffy needs to switch out because... That pedal dance is doing a lot, and Sandshrew doesn't it doesn't want to take anything that Sandshrew is offering. So I want to switch into Furret. Um, I don't want to switch into Croconaw. Doesn't want to take anything that Osh is handling. Yanma would be a decent switch in here. Can't switch into Furret because it's a sniper boat, so I'd have to, you know, waste a turn calling it out, so on and so forth. Umbreon would be the only other bet, so I think I'm gonna go with Yanma here. We switch out Flappy for Yanma. And I feel like I was telling a story. Oh yeah, Tierno. So yeah, like all, all of Tier Tierno's Pokemon new dancing moves, like Dragon Dance, Swords Dance, uh, Petal Dance, so on and so forth. So that was a pretty interesting theme. I love when they do themes like that. So there's a Swords Dance. Um, that's frightening. Uh, luckily I have a Flyer here and a Levitator. Let's see how much this Petal Dance does. So it goes right into the Mischievous. Mischievous can take that, luckily, and Oddish is confused from fatigue. So we need to take out this Oddish here. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to end up going into Hyper Mode, so I'm going to try to double target this Oddish here. Even though that leaves me wide open to whatever this Sandshrew is going to do. So we take out this Oddish um, without too, too much hassle. There's a Shadow Rush for our Mischievous. Ah, oh, that doesn't do anything at all. So, um, we're gonna see what this thing can ditch out. Luckily, it's only a scratch. Oh, that does massive amounts to Yanma. Um, okay. So, Yanma gets a speed boost. Um, we are going to Shadow Rush the Sandshrew again. And we're gonna heal up the Yanma. Because the scratch isn't going to hit Mischievous, so I think we're good there. Unless it pulls out something crazy. There's a Shadow Rush into the Sandshrew. Still not doing too, too much. Hopefully the Sandshrew slips up and uses the scratch on Mischievous. Ah, oh, there it goes in the Atom again. But it seems like it did a little bit less damage there, so we should be safe. As long as we don't get a crit. 
Uh, Mischievous is going to rock a Shadow Rush again. We're just going to double Shadow Rush into this Yanma here. Or, I'm sorry, Sandshrew. So, one more should be able to take it down. Oh, maybe not. After this, we definitely need to go heal our pokes. Okay, so Yanma. Okay. Luckily, we both outspeed Yanma here, or Sandshrew here, so... We can go both Gosha for a Shadow Rush, and we land at least one of them, which is good. The only way that was going to be bad is if we both went into Hyper Mode, and I could have lost Yanma right there. So... Luckily, we get through this battle without any casualties, and I just thought that was a really interesting theme for her and for Tierno. It's definitely scary. Anything with Swords Dance, Dragon Dance. Um, if you let that go up, that's it's just frightening. I mean, you saw how much that's, that little scratch was doing. So let's run downstairs real quickly, and we'll heal up. Okay, so we're all healed up, and we're going to head back upstairs. Let me check our Mischievous out. Our Mischievous should be close to uh, fully liking us, other than the last part. No, it still has a little ways to go. Okay, so we're going to... Um, I think we're going to throw a Yanma for him, because I really want to show Yanma some love. We still have a little bit left to... We still have a quite a decent amount of storyline to go till we can unlock that last bit, so I'm sure Mischievous will get its... Um, experience it anyway. So let's head back upstairs. I just want to get even training around all around, because when you unlo finish unlocking the Pokemon heart, as you can see, we're not leveling up except for Umbreon right now. None of us are leveling up, but they are gaining experience, but it won't show it until we unlock its heart, and then it'll gain like a couple levels, four or five, whatever. So we're going to go in here. Now what compels you to come in... What compels someone like you to come in here if, for the sake of being trashed by me? So this guy's a little cocky, Mr. LD, L I D I, the but I don't know how it's supposed to say his name. So he has a Cacnea and a Tentacruel. So this is a pretty good matchup for us here. Uh, we can Thundershock this uh, Tentacruel, and I wish we had a bug move to hit. Uh, but we're just going to Shadow Rush this Cacnea. And we're going to Thunderbolt the Tentacle. So that's a little, about 50% to the Cacnea. Okay, the Thundershock does a little bit less. Surprisingly, it does less than I expect to this Tentacle, but Tentacle's pretty specially defensive. Um, so, it's going to take a couple of those. I think we're actually going to switch it up. We're going to Shadow Rush the Tentacle this time, and um, Thundershock this Cacnea. See if that does any more damage with the swap up. Okay, so we get the knockout there on the Tentacle, and let's see if we can get the knockout on the Cacnea this turn. We should, it shouldn't be. Cacnea's defenses are pretty poor. That's the one That's one of the flaws in it. I love I love Cacnea and Cacturn, but between speed and, well, it does seems to have a lot more defense than I remember. But between its speed and its defenses, it's not nothing to write home about. I do love its typing. Grass Dark is such a cool typing. So we get hit by Pin Missile. Get the speed boost up. We're going to Shadow Rush here. And I think we're going to go for Double Shadow Rush. Just because the Thunder Shadow really wasn't doing too, too much. And we hit it there, and that that is the knockout. So we take that on this guy, who seemed pretty arrogant. 
when we talked to him uh, that he was going to smash us into the ground. So, it's always fun. We look freaking awesome with our cape. You turned the tables on me. Also, I love those poke gloves. Grr, you done it. What a blind spot did you ex what blind spot did you exploit? Okay, so there's a set of stairs here. We're gonna go up here. So we're at the top, and we're gonna talk to this guy. Okay, so they said there's another intruder. Um I think we're good with the, what we have. And we're gonna head in here and see what we can do. Darling, aren't you one of Duke King's people? What made you think you could simply waltz in here? You're such a silly boy. Uh, where's Minor P? I'm taking him down. <laughs> taking him down? After the beating you took? That's funny. You think I'm going to drive you out of this town? Ha! Huh, what a feisty boy. You tell me... Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to settle you down like we did with Dew King. What? Oh, it seems like we have a lot of unexpected company today, but that's no excuse for being a bad host. So, um, she looks kind of like an admin, but she's a minor BP on Wreath. Wreath or Wrath or... Um, usually the names in this kind of game like this are kind of punny. Punish? Uh punishable. <laughs> um, I don't know. So we'll see what the other person's name is and see if we can make the joke up as we go along. So she has a ram- ooh, she has a shadow Pokemon. So she has a shadow Ramorade here. Um, we're gonna shadow rush a Spinarak, and I'm- oh, that Ramorade's really low leveled. Uh, we're gonna try to shadow rush it. I don't want to Thundershock it, because that, that will take it out with how low level it is. And we almost take out that Spinner Rack in one hit with that Shadow Rush. So I really hope this isn't too much. Here comes an Aurora Beam. So that Aurora Beam does tons to Yanma. Um, here's a Shadow Rush onto the on from the Flaffy. Ah, no. Oh, we take out the Ramorade. So we miss out on catching one of the Shadow Pokemon. Um... That sucks. Um, didn't expect that. Uh, there's nothing, nothing much we could have done. It was a really low leveled. Um, I don't even know why it was lower level. That's the lowest level Shadow Pokemon I've seen, actually. Hmm. So. We're going to Shadow Rush this Love Disc here, and then we're going to Thunder Shock the Spinner Rack. Yanmai enters into hyper mode, so it's not going to get to attack this turn. Love Dix gets an agility up. Oh, Yanmai just- oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention, I was just looking at my- looking at the time, looking at my screen. Oh my god, Yanma just take out, oh my god, oh my god, oh, come on. Yanma, I was excited to use it. I don't even know what took it out. Crap. Okay, um, well, that was unexpected. Um, we're gonna go into Furret here. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. Guess that's what I get. So we take out the Spinarak. I don't even know what move took out Yanma. Oh, damn, darn it. I was really excited to use my Yanma through his playthrough. Um, Furret's in hyper mode, so we're going to have to call it out real quick. And then we're going to Thundershock this Love Disc. This Thundershock should do a decent amount to this Love Disc. Hopefully it doesn't have anything crazy or whatever took down Yanma. So here's the Water Gun into the Furret. Furret can take those for days. Okay. So there's the Thundershock. So, Furret learned Helping Hand as a new move. That's really interesting. So, 
Um, we're going to use Shadow Rush here, and we're going to use Thunder Shock. Okay. And there goes the love dick. So, um, sadly, we had a casualty here. Poor Yanma. Oh my god, I was so excited to use that. Um, darn. So we defeated Wreath or Wrath or... I think it's Wreath. So we defeat her. I think we have to get challenged by this admin. So like I've said before, since this is a consecutive battle, we can use uh, Yanma here. But I'm, I'm not going to because I don't need to gain the experience. I'm just going to sw straight switch it out. Um... Oh. I don't know if we get healed between battles anyway, so we might just be fine. So we have Flaffy and Umbreon up front, so yeah, yeah. Um, Yanma's knocked out. So we have a Shadow Pokemon here, too. It's the Maintain. Maintain, Maintain. I've never known how to actually correctly pronounce that. It's level 33, it's going to be, um, but it's four times weak to electric, so I don't want to thunder shock it. Um, I'm going to shadow rush it, and we're going to bite the A-Palm. Okay, so the A-Palm uses agility. It's going to be outspeeding us for the rest of this game, because it outsped us already. Um, here comes the bubble beam. Let's see how much damage this does, and who is it, who is it hitting? Oh my god, that take, takes Flaffy down to 7 HP. Oh, no, 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 no. Hopefully the Shadow Rush does not um, take us out with the recoil. Oh my god, we live with 3 HP. So that was frightening. We need to switch Flaffy out. Um, Flaffy, you are going to switch out into... Furret. Furry can probably take the hits the best. Um, and we are going to bite this Mantine. Because that thing's the one that's doing the most damage right now. The Sapom might be picking up damage once it, uh... With the agility and everything. So it's, it gets got an Astonish. Luckily it doesn't affect Furret. Here's the Bubble Beam. Who's it on to? It's on to that... Oh my god. Oh wow, holy... Oh my gosh, it's doing so much damage. So we're going to bite this Mantan. That's not doing anything at all. Um, so we need to think of something. So I think we're going to try and heal up the Furret here. We're going to go for some strats. We need to, we need some strats. Because this bite's not doing too much. Um, I think we want to try to hit with Confuse Ray. Oh, we don't have Confuse Ray. I thought we did. Um... we have to just go for bite again, but we need to start taking down this Mantine. So we get astonished by our, the, um, am, 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 uh, Apom. Here comes another Bubble Beam out. Good for a ticket. Oh my god. It's doing so much. I'm going to switch Furret out into Mischievous, um, and Umbreon will go for another bite. After this bite, we should be able to start throwing Pokeballs at this, um, man time. So there's our Mischievous, and, okay, he slanishes us again. Hopefully we can still get this bite through. We don't need the flinchies. There's a bubble beam. Hopefully under our Umbreon, because our Umbreon should be able to tank it. Oh. Oh my god, that did so much damage to Mischievous. We need to capture this thing. This thing's powerhouse. That bite. That bite, though. Okay. Um, Miss, I can heal Mischievous up. We're using our last super potion here on Mischievous. And we're going to bite this, um, 
Mantine one more time. Oh, there's the Astonish on the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. If this thing goes after... Mischievous. No, no, no. Okay, okay. It did significantly less damage that time. So there's the bite. Um... Mischievous doesn't want to stay in here. Um... We'll switch into Croconaw now. And we're going to try, try to throw a Pokeball with uh, Umbreon. Oh, we broke th it broke free. Okay, so... Mischievous is going to switch out here into Croconaw. There's the Astonish. Here's the Bubble Beam. It still does a decent amount of damage, even a, a water Pokemon. Um. We are going to... Croconaw is going to throw the Great Ball at Mantine. And Umbreon is going to bite a palm. Okay, so we caught Mantine. That was frightening. Okay, so at least that that Mantine's done. She has a Furret after this. Okay, so we're the battle's not over yet. Here's the Astonish. Does a decent amount to Croconaw, but Croconaw can take that. Um, okay, so I want to preserve Croconaw. I'm going to Surf with Croconaw, and we're going to use a regular potion if I have any. I have two regular potions. We're just going to use a regular potion just to make sure Croconaw doesn't faint here. Okay, so that used Helping Hand. That's frightening. This Astonish is going to do... Okay, it still doesn't do much. Hopefully I can... Okay, so get the Surf off. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my god, my Pokemon are so close to fainting. And we take out the A-Palm, so um, we're in a significantly better position than we've been. Um, this admin did a lot of damage. And she has, oh god, she has a lot of Pokemon too. She has so many Pokemon. Um, she has like half the Pokemon we have as Shadows. Um, okay, so we are going to Surf here. And we are going to bite the Yanma. Another helping hand here. Okay, what's the Yanma gonna do with helping hand? Sonic Boom. So the helping hand does nothing, luckily. It's yeah, being a little bit derpy. And we're gonna get a nice bite off here. That's surf. Okay. So as Yama gets a speed boost off, um, we should be good. I think another surf and blight should be able to take care of it. Um, hopefully, it does the same thing it did last turn, where it went for the helping hand, Sonic Boom. Yep, okay. So luckily, this fur uh, didn't really help too, too much. Um, so that's very good. <laughs> I was afraid we were going to lose a lot more Pokemon in this battle. 
Okay, so the bite doesn't take it out, but the surf should knock out both. Okay, so that should be it for this trainer. Um, again, that was that was quite frightening. Um, and yeah, so we defeated these peons. Hopefully there's not another battle after this, because I don't know if my Pokemon can handle another battle right at this moment. So um, if this is the last battle for this episode, then yeah, Umbreon's level 30, so that, that really helps out. Um, Umbreon trying to learn Confuse Ray. I thought I had it earlier, actually. So we're going to teach it over Snatch. One, two, and poof. So Croconaw and Umbreon are really coming through, showing the power of Reed, the reasons why they've survived this long. We defeated Firma, so Wreath and Firma, and... I'm surprised the other one was named, like, Terra or something. Terra Firma. Wreath, let's make ourselves scarce and... Scarce for the time being. Righto, Firma. Ultra Super Fire Dash. So they went downstairs. So, that's going to be it for today's episode. I think we're in that first room where we saw Meyer B talking to Nasquare, actually. So, um, that's where we're going to end today's episode. If you guys like this episode, if you like, Poke or if you like Pokemon uh, Shadow Locks, if you like Pokemon... Pokemon? Ugh, I can't talk. If you like Pokemon Shadow Locks, if you like Pokemon, if you like Pokemon in general, if you like all that kind of stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really help me out and uh, helps me produce more content. So... I guess I will catch you guys later. Bye.